Hi everyone, welcome here. My name is Taylor. If you're new here and I make videos about minimalism, intentional living, and other things, so if that sounds awesome to you, consider subscribing. I did a video last year talking about how to wash cloth diapers and I wanted to do an updated video just to go over everything and just kind of explain some of the details with cloth diapers. So hopefully to answer some of your questions and concerns, I remember being pregnant and being interested in cloth diapers but feeling kind of intimidated and nervous about it. So that's kind of why I wanted to do this video was just to explain. I'm a year in, I was a newbie and it's been successful. So let's get started. The first few newborn weeks are just a huge adjustment for you and the baby. Your baby is just coming into the world. You're like still recovering from birth and everything. So there's just a lot. And so I didn't put pressure on myself to start cloth diapers like right away. So I just got a pack of newborn diapers, went through them and maybe bought another one. I'm not sure, but I didn't start cloth diapers until about six to eight weeks. When I felt like, okay, you know, I feel like I have a handle on things, I'm ready to kind of start them. So there's no like time, no pressure, no shame. You can start it at six months if you want to, or later or sooner. And it's just whatever works best for you and your family and when you feel ready. So we actually use the pocket diapers specifically from Nora's Nursery. I know that there's a lot of other types of cloth diapers, but these ones were the ones that I use and I'm not knowledgeable about any other kind of diapers. So that's the ones I'm gonna be talking about today. And they look like this. And they have all these little buttons that you can use to make smaller or larger. And then you can just undo them. Um, so this would probably, I'm still, buttoning one and he's a year old so when he gets older I'll probably just unbutton all of them but when he was first starting to use them I did the two buttons so it's nice that you can adjust them and then these straps on the side you can put them like that and then you can do an overlay for like a newborn newborn and then you can you know obviously go bigger so that's what I like about them is that grow with them so you literally just buy these and they'll last the whole time your baby's in diapers. And so then there's a little pocket right here. And so they come with these Nora's Nursery inserts. They're bamboo and I'll link everything down below on Amazon, by the way. And so then you just put them, put the insert inside and just kind of flatten it out to where it's not so bundled. And then you're ready to go. Now on Amazon, they come in a pack of seven. And so I got a pack of seven as a gift for my baby shower. And then I personally purchased two more packs. So we have a total of 21 diapers. And I feel like that's more than enough for us. I do laundry about every five to seven days on the diapers specifically. And so I feel like there's we have plenty of diapers. I'm never feeling like we're low, but I also didn't want to get too much. So for us, 21 was a good number. So with the newborn, their poop is liquidy and it's water soluble, so you can just throw it straight in the wash like that. But now with the toddler, he's eating solid foods, his poop is more solid, and it stinks. <laughs> so when he does poop in the cloth diapers, if it's solid, I will just kind of flick it into the toilet. I'll take like some toilet paper and kind of get off as much as I can. It sounds gross, but it's not too bad. And I don't know if it's just my baby, but I just recently started doing this thing. I bought him a little seat that I can put on our toilet seat. So when he has to go, like he's obviously grunting, trying to get something out. I'll just take off his diaper and put him on the toilet. He's one, I'm not like trying to potty train him right now, but he poops so much better on the toilet because I feel like when he's on the floor trying to get something out, it's just like squishing it all together. I know this is gross, but I'm just being honest. So that's what I've been doing most of the time if we're at home and he has to go. If we're out and about, obviously I'm not gonna put him on a toilet, but at home I've just been doing that and so that works for us. And then if it's pee, you don't have to do anything. You just take out the insert. So let's say that this is a dirty diaper and then I'll just do that, fold it, and then I'll stick it in the wet bag. That way when I go to wash it, I can just dump it all into the washing machine. I don't have to like take apart the diapers that have been sitting there for days. 
So that's one thing that I did learn is just to take out the inserts before you put them in the wet bag. And then as far as washing them, I, again, like I said, I wash them every five to seven days, depending on kind of when the wet bag starts to get full. Just realized my hat is falling. <laughs> But I do a heavy duty cycle on hot and a pre soak and an extra rinse at the end. And sometimes I would say like every couple months, the diapers may need to be washed twice because sometimes they kind of have like a leftover grimy smell. I do also recommend having some distilled white vinegar on hand so that way you can pour it in the wash. That does really help to get that smell out and kind of just get the griminess off. But overall, the washing process is pretty simple. And then I just put them in the dryer and dry them that way. You can also hang dry them. The only reason that I personally hang dry them or put them outside in the sun is to get some of the stains out. So sometimes there's like pee or some poop stains on there that didn't fully come out in the wash. I'll just lay them out in the sun as like a natural stain remover. And then I won't use those diapers because they've been sitting out in the sun and I'll just rewash those before using them again. Another thing is once my baby started getting older, he's obviously drinking more, eating more, and so he's peeing more. And at night, he's sleeping through the night now. So I ran into the issue of him leaking the bed every single night and I'm like getting frustrated because I'm like, I don't wanna have to buy regular diapers, but the cloth diapers are leaking. So after doing a little bit of research, I realized that the inserts that they sent you are great, but they're like pretty thin. I was even doubling them up at nighttime and it still wasn't working. So I found some other inserts on Amazon. And these ones are by Naturally Nature. I'll link them down below. And again, these are bamboo. These came in a pack of 12, so I just got the pack of 12. And for daytime diapers, I will either do one of these or two of these because one of these just isn't enough now with a one-year-old. So I will double up these and put them in the, in the insert or I will just do one of these. This one would be good for daytime use. And then for nighttime use, what I like to do is I'll put the thick one inside. I'll take this one that, the Nora's Nursery one that came with it. I'll fold it like that. And I read this on Nora's Nursery website when they were talking about how, how to help with nighttime leaks. And my baby is a stomach sleeper, so they said with boys and stomach sleepers, all of their pee is gonna like come out the front. So what I do is I put the diaper insert just on the outside, and then I'll put it on him like that. And he hasn't had any leaks ever since I've been doing this. So that honestly helps, um, and that solved the problem with bedtime leaks. So that's awesome. The next tip I would say with cloth diapering is Personally, for me, I found it really useful to keep a stock of disposable diapers on hand at all times. The reason is because we go out, we run errands, he goes to nursery on Sundays for church, and I'm not gonna deal with his cloth diapers out and having to store them, keep them in the car, just get all gross, depending on how long we were out for. If we're just going to like the store really quick, I'm not gonna put him in a disposable, I'll just keep him in his cloth diaper. But if we're gonna be out and doing multiple things, then I'll put him in disposables. I don't feel shame about that. I'm buying so many less diapers and I probably go through like five disposables a week. So in the grand scheme of things, we're still saving a ton of money on diapers and putting a lot less diapers in the landfill. So for that, I'm happy. And lastly, I just wanna mention one thing that I noticed as the only real downside of cloth diapering, other than the obvious more work, you have to wash the diapers. You don't have the convenience of just throwing away disposable diapers. Just something I noticed with cloth diapers is they are more bulky than disposable diapers. So sometimes there's issues with like clothes fitting. So just be aware of that. Sometimes you might need to buy like a larger size pair of pants just to fit over the cloth diapers when you're at home with the baby. Um, so yeah, not a huge deal, but just wanted to mention that I did notice that. I understand cloth diapering isn't for everyone, but if you have the time and the ability, I'd definitely recommend it. It's been a great experience for us. And the great thing too is once my baby's potty trained, I can just store him away and save him for any other future kiddos we have. 
Well, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope that it was informative and that it answered some of your questions. If you have any more questions though, don't be shy. You can drop them down in the comments below and I'd love to answer them. Be sure to like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys next time.